we were just wings. talking about that. My goodness, those lines out there, crazy stuff. And as we all know, there's a day to celebrate basically everything, and today is no exception. Today is National Chicken Wing Day, in case you didn't know. So to help celebrate and create the perfect wing at home, we brought in Chef Jordan McLean with Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza. Good Thank morning, you for having Sarah. me. Thank Glad you for coming in. Today. All right, so we've got so much happening. We've got pizza, we've got wings, but it's all about the wings today. Of course, Let's talk of course. about how to make the perfect wing. Yeah, so very, very simple seven ingredients. We'll go ahead and get you started. Perfect. Got you a bowl there for you. So just starting, just going to pour it in. Okay. We've got black pepper, of course, kosher salt. Good stuff. Some fresh parsley, garlic cloves, which is important. Oh, okay, so not chopped or diced or no, anything. No, no. Oh, Rosemary oh. as well, olive oil, and then a little bit of lemon juice. Kind of finish that off for you. The whole bowl? No, not just a little just bit. A little just bit. a little bit. Okay. And that way we can mix it up as well. Not too bad, not too bad. No, just a little light one. Then we're going to kind of coat it on the wings over here as well. So okay. just pour it all on top. Just as So far, such. so good. All right, then you want to just lightly toss it. Okay. That's why you got the gloves. You got to get in there. Yeah, so this is, of course, going to spread it around, give more flavoring to all of the wings. And uh, exactly. some people prefer the boneless wings. Can you do this with those as well? Uh, you can. Uh, we don't use boneless, but yep. we do have the bone in. That uh, gives it a great, great flavor. Okay. Uh, right, one of our are, big. Are these breaded or are they? They are not. One of our um, kind of big marks is that we use um, just fresh, never frozen wings. You can always tell by the bone if it's white, then it's never been frozen. So it's kind of one of, one of our nice trademarks that we have All here. Right. So next step then? So after this, you're actually going to put this in the refrigerator 24 hours. Okay. You don't want to over marinate. It tends to get a little bit salty if you tend to. Kind of let it sit out for too, too long. Gotcha. Um, after this, you're going to put it in the oven. Um, have set in there. You're just going to flip it halfway, 25 minutes. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple like that. So uh, we have our finished one over there as well. Now, we were talking about oven temperatures, and that's obviously playing an important part in the perfect wing. You guys obviously have a commercial oven. We what do. about those of us at home that do not have that commercial so oven? So 425 okay. will set you just right. And then 25 minutes, like I mentioned, as most people don't have a 900 degree oven. As so how do. long does it take you guys with a 900 degree oven? Very quickly. So you can imagine <laughs> it does not take long at all. So it's very, very easy. So uh, like I said, and finish plate over there. Um, yeah. Right now we do have kind of a promotion for free wings for an entire year. So up until today. How do I sign up? <laughs> so go to acfp.com slash awards. Okay. You got to be a member of our loyalty program. That way it's super, super easy. Dine in or take out. Make sure you come in today, though. Today's the so last day to get into If you are a chicken wing fan, uh, what are you doing with your life right exactly. now? You, you gotta exactly. You got to get out there and get this promotion underway. It doesn't get much better. And so you said about 20, 25 minutes. There's the finished product. Of course, we'll put more information about this and how you can make that perfect chicken wing at abcactionnews.com. We'll be right back after this break.